Welcome back, Focus Fanatics. In this video, I will be talking about modifier commands and modifier macros. Now, modifier commands are the buttons you usually see on the left side of the modifier screen. They include done, next, sub, extra, no, and delete, and the three prep mods that can be found beneath the delete button here. We can now eliminate the modifier command from eliminating from appearing altogether and place these buttons directly on the mod canvas themselves. We've also made it possible to use modifier macros to, to display the various information you see along the top here. As you can see the house salad is the menu item that we are modifying. Dressings is the name of the modifier canvas. The minimum and maximum are the minimum and mono maximum number of mod units that must be ordered for the item. The current is the number of modifiers currently ordered. And the remaining is obviously going to be the number of modifiers you can order before you reach the maximum. Okay, so this is going to be a view of our standard modifier screen. So now let's just jump in and show you a few customized ones using these uh, new features here. We'll go ahead and ring up a Texas Porter House. You'll notice right off there is no modifier command. Uh, there is no modifier commands down down the uh, side here. What we have done is created a custom button instead of being called done. Created one called back that will send us back a page. And the only command that we saw fit for our stake temps was going to be delete. And of course, we're using a macro to name our temperatures across the top. So let's move on to our next modifier screen. We'll go ahead and order medium rare. This is a little bit different. We still have our back and delete buttons. and But now you'll see choose two. Now this number two is associated with our remaining on top here. As you can see we have a minimum of two and a maximum of two. That means we have to order two of the following modifiers in order to leave the screen. So if we order some sautéed vegetables, it's saying, hey, we still must choose one. And you can see up here, remaining one and current is one. So what we are going to do is delete this. It's going to prompt us, hey, we still need to order two. So let's just go ahead and order a baked potato and see one last way we can use the modifier canvases now. So when we ring up the baked potato, now you can see we have a few more modifier commands on the side. We have extra no and only. These were only modifiers that really made sense for potato toppings. You wouldn't really have sub, sub butter, uh, and we don't really need any prep mods because this is about all the options that you can modify a baked potato with. So we'll say, okay, we'll just take only butter on our potato. We're good to go. So we can just simply click back, and that'll return us back to our order. So that's how it looks at the front end. Let me show you how to set everything up now. What we've done in our demo here is actually created a modifier cheat sheet, if you will, a little canvas. It has a list of all the modifiers, and it also has all our modifier commands. So you can simply copy it and then paste it on over to your next canvas that you want to create a modifier canvas, making it really easy for you. And you can also see we have our mod header. And we are using the modifier canvas macro up on top here. So you don't actually have to label your modifier. Uh, you don't have to actually label it. it uh, the software will do it automatically for you. So you can just simply highlight all these, copy them, and paste them to whatever modifier screen you want. And in order to prevent the modifier commands from being displayed on the screen, it's part of the canvas setup itself. You'll see we have three different levels. We can do an item level, which could be your normal order taking screens. Your modifier is going to include the commands down the side. Or we can add the modifier with no commands. 
meaning we have a blank canvas, we can do whatever we want to with it. And of course we have our standard prep modifiers over here, 1, 2, and 3. And then you'll notice over here we have italicized the format button. So if you click on that, oops, clicked on the wrong one there. If you clip, click on um, your label here, the caption is italicized. You can simply click on that, and that's going to say, it gives you a little cheat sheet of all the mac macros you can do. You know, the percent %B is going to be the tab name. Uh, you can put that on here. Your foreign currency, we can do the modifier canvas name. We can do the number of minimum modifiers that need to be ordered. The actual item, menu item that you're modifying. How many modifiers are remaining. We have a modifier current count, our modifier maximum count, and of course our suggested selling, and our time. And you can see how it's set up. It's simply a label, and you just put the appropriate macro inside the caption there. Last thing we have set up for you is the number two. We have our little countdown. We just have a little picture. You can assign different pictures to the macros using your different formats, screen formats here. We have our countdown. Let you look how it works right here. So it's just cool, fun looking little thing that uh, you might be able to use in some of your um, installs. And that about wraps it up for our modifier commands and our modifier macros. And until next time, fanatics, stay focused.